Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the Cancer Astrologer, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Well, anyway, I'm basically going to be talking about how uh, the Cancerian Astrologer is in terms of their style and really how, how they can be as, uh, as astrologers. And the thing about the Cancerian or Cancer Astrologer is that the Cancer Astrologer will often do uh, their, their charts, the astrology charts, and their, just their craft in general with astrology with a lot of tenacity, dedication, and devotion, and also unequivocal and unconditional love. They will, uh, they nurt, they're going to often nurture their, their craft. Uh, they care, I mean, Cancer is very caring, and they care, they often will care about helping you. And when they, um, if, you, if they bring you into their home to do an in-person reading, they will often make you feel at home, feel comfortable, feel safe and secure. Uh, often I would see the, the Cancer Astrologers having a rather uh, introverted style uh, in terms of their their chart. Uh, when, when they work on their charts, they often will find their own you know, little comfort, comfortable place. They're, you know, something quiet and, and peaceful and will often do their work out of their home. Um, many people do that anyway, regardless of their zodiac sign, but I see Cancer having greater propensity than most to, to be doing that. Um, Pisces may as well because they like their isolation, but anyway. Now, and again, they will often, uh, Cancer will often nurture your chart. They'll have a no spill, I call it the no spills rule or philosophy there, and make sure more so than the other signs on average that it doesn't, it doesn't get damaged and they take care of whatever it is they're doing. They're, they're the picture, your chart wheel, their interpretation if it's written out. Uh, they, you can generally count on Cancer to make sure nothing uh, happens to it where there's any blemishes on it or what have you. Now, and as they will be very protective of it, as the zodiac sign Cancer, of course, can be very uh, protective. Now, and Cancer being uh, very sympathetic will often do their do a chart really wanting uh, to help you, and uh, and they have that rescuing instinct in them. And uh, the thing about uh, the can Cancer as an astrologer. They will often uh, delineate or analyze charts in a way where it can help uh, trying to extricate somebody from like an adverse or negative situation. Uh, they may often be in into like horary, again, if I'm pronouncing the right, horary astrology, they, where they ask, uh, the, somebody asks a question and they and, and Cancer can answer based on the chart uh, calculated at that moment. Uh, whether it's a good time to uh, to find to find something, uh, whether it might be something positive in one's life, or time to, to look for another uh, job position to enhance a person's life, something where it's very because they like to be helpful to others because cancer does often uh, care, and they are also too. Uh, Keep in mind that cancer can be very uh, environmental, so for that reason they may excel uh, in relocation astrology. Now some of you may, may remember in the previous video when I did uh, the Gemini astrologer, I stated that Gemini may actually flourish at relocation astrology because it is the zodiac sign associated with short journeys, so for Gemini it would be especially uh, places in one's country that they might uh, feel that it, it would be a good place for them to relocate. But for Cancer, it is because they are very environmental. It's the sign connected with the home, and they often will like to uh, see somebody have a home that's going to be uh, conducive from that's going to be something where they're going to feel comfortable and it's compatible for that person because they understand what it's like uh, to want a very good home. Now, home environment. Now, uh, keep in mind, and, and the thing about Cancer too, they like to find, uh, this is a, a thing too with Cancer, is that keep in mind that Cancer, a lot of times, as far as doing uh, delineating charts for somebody, a lot of this could be predicated on how they feel. Because Cancer, of course, is about the emotions. They're often, <laughs> Cancer can often be very moody, uh, temperamental, 
and fickle and they may not always feel like doing something so for cancer they have to you know, people have to understand I mean even though cancer is very dedicated and devoted to whatever it is uh, they're doing they sometimes may uh, may take a step back momentarily because they just might not have it in their heart excuse me in their heart to actually uh, do it but they are generally I would say they can be very reliable as uh, as astrologers because they do care and they don't want people to really wait too long. It is a cardinal sign, so they are action uh, oriented. So, but the thing is too, when they're analyzing a chart, they uh, can be the ones more so than the other signs on average. They can be more about spotting the feelings and the emotional energy of a chart. Uh, better than most. I mean, if they see, like, for example, if somebody's got a preponderance of water uh, astrological, as far as major uh, preponderance of water astrological energy in their chart, they will often point that out. If they see the chart as being much more subjective as opposed to objective. They will be, that might be one of the first things they'll point out because this is what Cancerian energy uh, can be, can be about. And a third person I, I comes to mind, I think of uh, Cancerian uh, astrologers, is that uh, renowned astrologer Robert Han, who uh, has a Cancer ascendant. Now, he has a Sagittarius sun, which of course, it's really, that that could be about, I mean, when I look at a, Chris, when, when I look at a, a chart for somebody, when I look at three major, what I consider three major proponents in the chart, the sun, moon, and the ascendant, of course, could be, it's broken down systematically. Uh, with the sun energy injected into the moon energy and then being flavored by the ascendant. The Sagittarius sun with them, of course, is that philosophical, looking at the stern philosophical element or aspect of astrology, play, um, uh, philosophical aspect, but given that his moon is in Scorpio, that is uh, it's, it's a philosophical aspect of astrology because Scorpio can be connected with the occult, which includes astrology. And of course, that could be done with a lot of dedication, care and devotion, and tenacity indicated by the Cancer Sun. That's flavoring um, that, that uh, Sagittarius uh, Sun Scorpio Moon uh, energy. So again, it's a Sagittarius Sun looking at a philosophical aspect of, of something and of the Scorpio moon being the occult which includes astrology and then of course being flavored by the Cancer Senate this being done with a lot of care dedication devotion and tenacity and the thing uh, and I want to say and I'm sure he is very, part of what makes him very good it to uh, that dedication to that craft of course a lot of that is his Cancerian ascendant uh, I'm sure uh, coming into play and keep in mind too that the zodiac sign cancer can be very sensitive to criticism and ridicule so the thing about it is if there's something where you don't you know quite agree with something that their your cancer astrologer said and you just want to point it out it's important to be careful how you word it because they will uh, you know really uh, take take something you know more to heart than the average person and the thing about it too is with, with cancer is that they are they're going to be sensitive to how you are in terms of how they're going to delineate your chart if they in other words like for example if they see something negative in your chart they will put it uh, often put in a way where it's not going to uh, do something where it may hurt your feelings if it's something like derogatory or negative they have seen it they may constructively tell you about it and tell you ways in which you can make improvements on that and uh, again cancer often likes to have do their charts in a really in a quiet comfortable area a safe place nothing loud or boisterous so I mean if you're in a high crime area can the cancer astrologer may not want to go out there uh, if, it, if it's something where they were going to come out to you but anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Learner saying stay well